This is a Samyang 85mm f1.8 for Fuji. Let's see if this lives up to, I think, a well-deserved reputation. Decent box from Samyang there. It's straightforward, just like the rest of the range, as you'd expect. A little pouch. It's pretty much business as usual. We've got a little quality certificate. A brief manual with the stats. Pause that if you really want to look at all the exact stats, but basically we're looking at a range of F18 to 22, minimum focusing 65 mil, filter 62 mil. Let's look at the rest of the contents. Decent hood, nice clippy clip right there. As always with Samyang, it seems, with this Fuji range, solid mount there, nice hardcore metal make sure you set your camera to shoot without lens otherwise the fuji won't trigger now that is quite a firm yet smooth manual focus ring i think manual shooters won't complain too much at all i mean you'll get it to the spot you want and you're not going to lose focus too easy right round to infinity there Aperture ring, clicks, business as usual. Doesn't need to be smooth, but it's even. It does what it does. Overall, I'm very happy with the build quality and it just fits in line perfectly with the rest of the Samyang manual lens range for Fujifilm. That actually feels nice. And the smaller bodies, yeah, I would say it's fine. Of course, let's compare it to the Viltrux, which I guess we'll do in another video. It fits nicely. I think it looks good, but let's be honest, looks are really not that important when it comes down to it. It's all about the image quality, the performance out and about. So let's crack on, throw up some stills. All the images will be straight out of the camera, no edits, wide open it is what it is let's see how we get on see you on the other side Firstly, sorry about the up close bit. The quality <laughs> seems to have took a knock thanks to the <laughs> one day of British summer that we've had so far. Bit of an exaggeration, but at least it was clear enough to see what was going on as far as the look, build, quality, etc. So yeah, anyway, what we've got is a lens made specifically for the APS-C mount so whether it's the x mount here sony's etc specifically made so we're not looking at an adapted lens so i guess that's the first thing that's worth mentioning as clearly it looks like samyang continue to develop for us aps-c shooters and that's a fantastic thing of course we're Really hoping that Samyang step up into the AF for the Fuji X mount. I think that'd be pretty exciting, but what's this lens all about? Well, as we know, pretty much general photography going across to portrait sort of stuff. Anything that you need a bit more distance. We're looking at 127.5 millimeter focal length when you're talking about the 35 mil full frame equivalent. So nice bit of reach without taking up too much space or weighing a fat lot. Clarity is very nice. The image quality is 
very good if not excellent and there's no real problems with distortion chromatic aberration vignetting it's all as you would hope from the samyang range that fujifilm uses such as you and i have been enjoying now as you know i shot wide open and i shoot mostly wide open especially with portraits and it didn't disappoint that the sharpness wasn't mind-blowing but it was fine and it worked nicely and in some instances was actually quite a treat to use and of course stopping down frankly no disappointments there's room for maneuver now i generally don't tend to go to the 11 16 22 range with a lens of this sort of reach maybe you do but i think just that little bit of stopping down absolutely beautiful nice and that just brings us back down to that classic samyang build quality handling with the pretty sure steady definitely not loose manual focusing nice clicky aperture ring great fit and a small compact size with a smaller filter and i guess that's why many have come away from a 1.4 version and want to drop down to this i think for the price value for money this is a winner without maybe being quite as magical or classic for me anyway as we'll mention it again that 12 mil was i had really looked forward to getting my hands on this and i'm not disappointed it goes nicely with the range without blowing my mind as is the case with the internet comparisons will be made and i only really like to compare with lenses that have the exact same characteristics now we know that viltrox have an 85 mil lens but it's an autofocus and there are other buts to go along with that pros and cons and i thought it would be fair that we took a <laughs> hopefully brief look at those two lens side by side in another video so stay tuned subscribe comment below and let's see what we come up with regarding this samyang lens and maybe a competitor i don't think that's a fair thing to say at all if you're into these you know what you're getting and this lives up to the reputation